Alright, what's up you guys? It's your boy Death and welcome back to another video. So today, I wanted to go over 10 games that I want to love but can't. Now here on this channel, man, I make a lot of rant videos and sometimes I'll go back and try those games again that I've shitted on. But today I wanted to go over what were those 10 games. Now keep in mind, this list is not in order. I hate every single game on this list equally and it's so crazy, man, because I went back and gave these games multiple and multiple and multiple tries and it just didn't work out so I wanted to go over what 10 games made me feel that way social media links are in the description get that out the way man and with that being said I think that's all I got so let's get into it with the first game 10 games I want to love but can't and keep in mind I gave these games multiple multiple chances because I saw potential in the game. I saw that maybe there's a way I could end up liking the game, but it just didn't work out. And I'm about to go over, you know why. So we're kicking this list off with my Hero Ultra Rumble. So people might remember, I did streams, live streaming this game, bro. I did streams, live streaming this game. <laughs> anyway, I did live streams of this game because I wanted to see what I end up loving this game. So I hadn't touched this game since late 2023, but recently, like a month or two ago, I don't know, I recently gave this game another try. Title in my streams is My Hero Ultra Rumble still trash for the people that has been on my channel for a while and when I say a while I meant for the past two months you guys know I titled my streams oh is my hero ultra rumble still trash if you remember you remember if you don't you don't but anyway I gave this game multiple tries recently and I still hate it so like I said man I played the game late 2023 and I said that I hated the game because number one, I hated the microtransactions. I hate gambling mechanics. I truly hate them. I hate how there is no lock on. The no lock on is stupid. And it's not just me. If you go spectate other people on this game or if you go to live streams like I do, you'll see people punching air, missing quirks, quirks flying all over the place, making the game a complete mess, gambling microtransactions like I said, um, everything in between man I just truly hate the game oh yeah one character at a time I can't pick Todoroki because he wants to use Todoroki which is so bullshit I love how on Xenoverse everyone can use Vegito um, Shinobi Striker everyone can use Kakashi but on this game I gotta switch from Deku because he wants to use Deku in an anime battle royale game which is so goddamn stupid and a whole bunch of shit man I'll be here all day I hate my hero Ultra Rumble. Two months ago, I was giving the game another try and it's still the case. Now, they added this thing called license. I don't know how that works. I didn't stick around long enough to see the full effect of that. But yeah, man, went back to give this game another try. Oh, I almost forgot. The reason I want to love this game is, I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm a My Hero Academia fan. I love My Hero Academia. And this is a My Hero Academia Battle Royale. And I've seen my homies stream this game and I wanted to get into the game with them. Like I wanted to stream the game with them. So I was forcing myself to try to love this game, man, because I'm like, oh, they live streaming My Hero Ultra Rumble and it seems kind of lit. Let me see if I can try to ease my way towards loving the game. But everything I mentioned earlier is still applies to this day yes believe it or not for the people that's been watching me for a while next is Tekken 8 now Tekken 8 man I always watch on um, low tier God play this when not his streams I be going to videos made about him playing on um, Tekken 8 I be watching Tekken 8 tournaments here and there and stuff like that and I wish I could love the game because it has certain things that I love about it but every time I play it and every time I watch it it just feels like a generic 2004 3d fighter you know what i'm saying hell an older game like naruto clash of a ninja does more than this game bro just because you're a 3d fighter doesn't mean you have to be that generic but i want to love the game because i see potential in it and i see like 
a, a certain aspect to the game that I want to get into, like people creating the characters how they want them to look. I be seeing the different variety of combos. I be seeing different stuff in Tekken that I want to give a try. You know what I'm saying? I want to give this game a try and I gave it multiple tries. If you feel like it, go through some of my recent videos. Well, not recent, recent, but go through some of my videos. If you went through some of my videos, you will notice I still had Tekken 8 downloaded because I was trying to give it multiple tries, but Tekken 8 is just not for me. I mean, it is just boring upon boring. Now, of course, people will pull the skill issue argument. Go ahead. You can pull the skill issue argument, but keep in mind, this is the same guy that gets his ass whooped in every single fighting game, yet he still loves fighters. He still loves um, Street Fighter 6, so on and so forth. I, I don't care, bro. It's about the quality of the game. Hell, when Sparking Zero comes out, I know I'm going to get my ass whooped at that. But that's not gonna make me hate the game. Matter of fact, not only is it gonna be my game of the year, but it's my it's gonna be my favorite game of all time. So yeah, to anyone that wants to pull the skill issue argument. But anyway, back on track, man. This game, I really want to love this game. I really do. I see the potential. I see, you know, what the game has to offer and stuff like that. Like, look at my B-roll, man. I just love the detail it has. That's another thing, the detail. You know, clothes moving with the wind. People who watch me, they know I love that shit. But as a game alone to me it's a generic 3d fighter we've been playing since 2004 2005 and i i just can't get into it man like something's there but gameplay wise i just can't get into tekken 8 but i want to love it i wish i could you know be part of that fan base kind of i mean i don't like the fan base but anyway next is spider-man 2. now spider-man 2 of course I want to love this game. I really want to love this game, man. See, the thing is, bro, I want to get into this game because I'm a Spider-Man fan. Not that big of a deal, right? I'm a Spider-Man fan. And there's more on top of that. Peter Parker, Miles Morales, I love how you can play as both of them at the same time. And I've seen the fight scenes and I've seen the boss fight scenes and stuff like that. And I want to get into this game. I see the potential in this game and I see the excitement that this game offers and stuff like that. But as someone who put hours into this game when it first came out late 2023, this game is really, really boring because Insomniac decided to throw a bunch of bullshit in this game game cleaning the house is mary jane doing a bunch of watchdogs type of shit i i know every game does this i'm just using watchdogs as an example all right just because a game has hacking doesn't mean it's a watchdogs game i'm just using that as an example but you're trying to do this hacking shit with miles and i'm doing a whole bunch of random shit follow harry follow harry for 30 minutes follow harry do this with harry do these science biology puzzles um go to this nerd convention with harry and stuff like that like i don't want to do this shit all this tedious ass shit i hated that man and i have a review on this game of course i'm not gonna remember everything because it's been a while late 2023 but i really want to love spider-man 2 but i can't because they threw so much bullshit in the game it's more of a marvel man too playing as mary jane and then next thing you know i'm playing as peter parker in the tuxedo and i gotta go through this party it's a marvel man too man i like what i love about the older spider-man games is that they kept the game fired but this game has so much bullshit that i couldn't take it anymore and i want to love this game man because it's a spider-man game and as someone who loves spider-man i want to be a part of this game i do man because you get to play as miles and peter parker and you get black suit peter and look at the look at the boss fights look at the b-roll Next is Demon Slayer the Hinokami Chronicles. Demon Slayer the Hinokami Chronicles, man. I want to love this game because those of you who know me, you guys know Demon Slayer. It was in my top three favorite anime of all time. Now it's been pushed down to five because of that recent arc, but that's not a here or there. I still love Demon Slayer because, you know, I mean, I love Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer's lit. But anyway, I love Demon Slayer. 
Demon Slayer is one of my favorite anime of all time. So Demon Slayer having this own video game and this uh, fighting game on top of that and stuff like that, I want to be a part of this game, man. I want to love this game. But this game has way, way, way too many bitch mechanics, more times than I can count, man. So many bitch mechanics. Go look up my video, the worst fighting game I've ever played, Demon Slayer. Look that video up and watch it. Then I'll, you know, I'll explain in great detail. But to make a long story short, this game has way too many bitch mechanics and I truly hate it. But I wanted to be a part of this game because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous looking demon slayer game and we finally get a demon slayer game and it's a generic arena fighter nothing special nothing unique if you're going to be a 3d fighter don't just rescan naruto storm don't do that shit bruh and that's you know what i hated about the game when it first came out and bitch mechanics on top of that and i don't know man i just really really hate this game but as a demon slayer game man it is gorgeous looking and it, it has that demon slayer feel but as a fighting game mechanic wise it is too annoying it is too goddamn stupid and a generic arena fighter you know i still stick by that a naruto storm reskin i fucking hate that man ito zombie uprising it gives me that nostalgic feeling that i want to experience right and i want to go ahead and love this game but this game right here it is too goddamn stupid eat or die in a zombie slaying video game there's a reason this shit is not in dead rising there's a reason this shit is not in back for blood as far as I know, it's not in Dead Rising, but anyway, eating should not be in a game like this where you have to fight zombies, all right? If it was in Don't Starve Together or The Sims, I understand that, but this is a game where you're slaying zombies, and on top of that, annoying enemy types, bruh. They're so goddamn annoying. The screamer, which surrounds you in zombies, that's so goddamn annoying. The, the bomber... If they throw a bomb at you, your character is going to ragdoll, which is annoying, which leaves you open for a grab animation, which is so stupid. Zombies can hit you and throw you out of your um, skill attack. Oh, and the game is randomized, so you got to hope that you find the skill attack that you want, which is so stupid. So goddamn stupid, bruh. Back to the annoying enemy types. I have a review up that I'm proud of. Look that up. Edo Zombie Uprising is trash. Um, I'll explain there but to make a long story short eat or die should not be in this game um, Zombie the enemy types. They're so goddamn annoying and yeah I want to love this game because it does give me that nostalgic feeling that I want to be a part of But as a whole man, I can't love this game. I really can't fuck Edo zombie uprising now these next two games for some reason I tried to get gameplay for these games but my laptop went downloaded so I just said fuck it I'll just use a JPEG so let's get into it. Next is Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. So I love the Final Fantasy 7 remake. I love it man. I went back and played it recently. I absolutely love it. The Final Fantasy 7 remake 2020 but final fantasy 7 rebirth man knowing that that's just a copy and paste i don't want to play that shit bruh the game doesn't look any different it doesn't just a straight up copy and paste and i don't want to support that it is so goddamn lazy they just took final fantasy 7 remake and added to it added to it bruh and i heard that they're gonna keep doing it but that's speculation. I don't know, but I heard that they're gonna keep doing it. But anyway, man, not a hero there. That is so goddamn stupid, man. $69.99 when they just took the last game and added to it, really. But of course, I want to love the game. I love the Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's one of the greatest games I ever played. So of course, I wanted to experience this, but I'ma just leave it there, man. Copy and paste. I don't want to support that. I, if I buy a game, $69.99 especially, and it feels like I'm playing the exact same game, you have the nerve to copy and paste and add to it, but charge a game like you're building something new from the ground up, go fuck yourself Square Enix. Still pissed about this to this day.
Next is Persona 5 Royal. Persona 5 Royal, man, it just has that art style that I love, that anime art style I love, man. The graphics, it makes my jaw drop. I love it to death. And the game's vibe. I love that anime setting. I love that school setting. I love that. And I just love the vibe that the game has in general. But I hate this game. Joker dies. It's game over. I hate that. Lackluster turn base on top of that. I truly hate that, man. There's a bunch of reasons I hate Persona 5. It's nothing but a dialogue simulator. I'm just fast forwarding and fast forwarding. I hated that. Just holding one button to skip all that dialogue. Let me skip the dialogue altogether. If Joker dies, it's game over. That doesn't make any sense because what's the point in having a party I hate when games do that which is so goddamn stupid lackluster turn base turn base that is generic as hell hated the turn base um I think that's it I think that's all I got for right now man but the game is incredibly stupid I truly hate Persona 5 um I think it's in my top 10 if not top 15 worst games I have ever played in my life fuck Persona 5 Royal um, I think off the top of my head, that's all I got right now, but I truly hate Persona 5, man, really fucking do, and yeah, I think that's all I got. Next is The Legend of Heroes, Trails Through Daybreak. Now, of course, I want to love this game because, you know, I wanted to get into something new, and I was loving the characters, and I was loving a lot about the game, bro, and I was trying to get into this game, this stupid-ass game, and, you know, it was the 11th series. I wanted to get into some new, expand my horizons. And I loved the hack and slash and turn base that the game was offering. But the game did so many things that pissed me off. Reusing bosses four or five times. And then at the end of the game, they want to say, hey, you want to fight all of them again? Which is so goddamn stupid. I wouldn't be as pissed if you didn't have to fight them like five times throughout the main story i hated that you had the nerve to take away characters from me why would you take characters from me as a player you shouldn't take characters from me you shouldn't take playable characters away from me as a player which is so goddamn stupid and why do i have to do these tedious to-do lists at the beginning of every goddamn chapter at the beginning of every chapter which is so stupid i hated this game bro to make a long story short that's it that's all i'm gonna say for right now this game was so stupid next is tower of fantasy so i want to get into the world of tower of fantasy i want to explore this game with other weebs and i want to be part of the tower of fantasy gaming community but tower of fantasy is such an annoying piece of shit and it's so goddamn crazy bro but i do want to experience with the different unique characters that the game has to offer and i just want to get into the world of tower of fantasy i want to go on raids i want to play this game and have a good time like when i was watching on uh, Ventus SGN play this game and stream this game I'm like okay I wish I could be a part of this game but I hate it and let me explain why this game man I hate it the goddamn combat at least from when I played it I hated the combat I was just pushing circle one button one button hit a skill attack one button one button I was so sick of joining up with friends circle 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 joining up with friends circle 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 I truly hated that man it was so goddamn annoying and I'm trying to remember other things off the top of my head back then the game had a bad stuttering problem I don't know if they fixed that I bet they did because it's been a year now but it had a bad stuttering problem it really did bro but anyway, man, on top of that, the number one thing I hated about this game was the gambling microtransactions. I remember I spent so much time and money trying to get this really dope character or this character I thought was dope from speculation. I was trying to get this really dope character, but after wasting all that time and money, I said, fuck it. I said, fuck it, bro. And even if you hadn't spent a penny on this game, I said this before on my channel, even if you never spent a penny on Tower of Fantasy, still wasting your time like that, getting, I guess, material to unlock a character, just to hope that you get the character you want, I think that is fucked up. I hate gotcha games. I know that's what gotcha games are known for, but that's why I hate gotcha games. This is not an order or anything, but this is definitely up there. 
Tears of the Kingdom, The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Come on, you don't think I want to explore this giant open world with Zelda. I want to build my Zelda from the ground up. Like, I love how, not Zelda, but Link. <laughs> Link. I, I keep getting it mixed up too, man. I'm one of those. But I want to build my own Link from the ground up. Like, I was watching um, DSP's entire playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. And I was watching other playthroughs of Tears of the Kingdom. And I loved how people were building their Link from the ground up. And I love how they were exploring this open world. And they were getting different changes of scenery and stuff like that. And they were discovering new and fresh parts of the map and stuff like that. Of the world, open world, and whatever you want to call it. I love how they were just exploring upon exploring. And I love the vibe that the game has. Just a gorgeous, large anime open world that I want to explore explore i want to dive into and i want to you know build my link up get different weapons different armor i want to explore this gorgeous giant open world and this gorgeous anime game with this gorgeous anime art style and stuff like that every time i see someone stream tears of the kingdom i get jealous but I don't want to play it because you have to eat to keep Link warm, which is so stupid. The game is nothing but a chore simulator. Got to build benches and I got to build bridges and I got to build this. I got to build that. I got to build this. Like, look in the background, bro. Well, I don't think I'm there yet, but in the B-roll, man, I've shown this B-roll before. In the B-roll, you got to build this, build that. Don't let Link get too cold. Don't let Link get too hot. It was so goddamn stupid, man. But on top of that, that's I guess that's all I got, bro. Tears of the Kingdom, in my opinion, I do want to play this game. I want to explore this game. But in my opinion, Tears of the Kingdom is severely boring. Nothing but a giant, giant chore simulator man it is such a tedious ass game having to do tedious puzzles tedious tasks it was so boring i truly hated it well those were 10 games i want to love but i can't hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm out